Hey guys, thanks for tuning back in to Mad Dog Fishing. Well, I'll tell you what, getting ready to head out, do some crabbing today. Um, I was hoping to get out, do some surf fishing, do a catch and cook on the beach. Not happening today. 25 mile an hour wind. So we're going to get inshore a little bit, try to catch some blue crab. We maybe can use those later for bait for some big black drum. In the meantime, I'm getting my breakfast cooked up. Uh, one of the simplest protein uh, meals you can make. It's high in protein and that is eggs. It has tons of the amino acids you need. I'd say out of all the proteins it has everything. Uh, five eggs makes 30 grams of protein. Normally what I do is I'll use three eggs and a cup of egg whites which comes out to over 30 grams of protein and then I'll add some more protein to it, either chicken or tuna. Um, kind of off the tuna for a while right now, just got burned out on it. I've uh, been doing chicken. Today we added sausage, not the greatest thing for you, but it does add a little more flavor. So I saute some onions, saute some sausage, then I add my eggs, and it makes a beautiful souffle, or you can have an omelet. Uh, a lot of times, I'll just wrap it up in these tortillas uh, if I just need a change. But yeah, high protein, good way to get your morning started. And so I'm going to finish fixing that. I'm going to eat and then we'll get out of the water. So we'll see you shortly. So before we get started and we get out in the water, there's a few things you're going to need for this crabbing trip. Drumsticks. Uh, I usually wait till they're on clearance and buy them. See, I didn't pay very much for these. Uh, unless you throw one off, the, that's enough to catch you two or three dozen crabs. Uh, a lot of people put out more than two lines. I usually just one and have fun at it. I don't want to overwhelm myself, but you're going to need some chicken or drumsticks. Some people use chicken necks. I like the drumsticks because they're easy to tie uh, a string on to. And then you're going to need some twine, uh, small diameter. A lot of people use monofilament. I do not. I like the cotton line that way. I mean, I just, I just prefer it. So you're going to need, and you're going to need a, a net. Uh, to scoop up the crabs and you'll see that once we get out on the water the techniques just have to make sure my eggs aren't burning uh but yep chicken twine in a net in a cooler now that you got all three of those let's go hey guys thanks for tuning back into my dog fishing where we're out here been doing a little crabbing I'm bringing my wife she has never been crabbing before so she's a city girl and we're going to try to teach her how to catch these crab using some twine some chicken and a net uh, when you come out here guys don't forget a knife I almost forgot mine but you'll need it to cut your twine and preferably a long handled net will work uh, I like making my string uh, roughly around 12 to 15 feet long. That way I can throw it out long or, or short. And you just keep your eye on the string. Once it starts moving, you know a crab's picked it up and it's feeding on it. And you just have to be really slow at pulling it in. So let's finish getting set up. And uh, once we get everything set up and in the water, I'll show you what's going on. All right, guys, got our chicken tied on. I just got some cotton twine. Uh, I like cotton because it's good for the environment uh, and it's biodegradable. So we got we got one short line out. Finna put our long line out, and uh, then it's just a waiting game. All 
All right, let's move you down to the water. That was a, a mistake on, on my part. Wife was holding the line. I threw the chicken out. She didn't have a good grip, so the line and all went. We had to fish it out, but we got it. Uh, so we got two pieces of chicken out. They're frozen solid, so it might take a minute to thaw out. But we're going to check our short line right now. Nothing yet. So it's a little bit chilly today, so it may take them a little while to move in if they're here. We'll give it uh, 15, 20 minutes. If we hadn't got our first crab in 15, 20 minutes, we'll swap locations. Well, we didn't get it on video, but we got a first crab. Uh, I don't know if you can see it in there. That's how it is, it's super simple. Great way if you're on vacation down here, you're an outdoor person and the fish aren't biting or the surfers rough, you can come down here to the weir here in Gulf Shores and literally, I've explained everything you need. <coughs> super simple, super cheap. Uh, and if you like blue crab, it's a way to get a meal. I'd use them for bait, but hey, I do eat them too. So cool. I can't believe that. Well, that that one's technically too small to keep, but perfect size for bait. Now I'm gonna see if I can get my wife to catch one. So we're gonna do this as a two-man team. One of us gonna pull the string in, I'll probably end up netting. Well, we missed it on video. It's coming out, babe. <laughs> but my wife got her first crab. I'm going to unclip you here. She got her first one. <laughs> Yay.
Feel like you got anything? No, but I didn't feel like it last time either, so. So usually when a chicken's coming in, you can see the crab on it. Uh, so nothing this time. Now the sun finally came out. That feels good. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, everybody in between, thanks for tuning in to Mad Dog Fishing. It's been fun. Uh, as you can see, crabbing just another thing you can do while here in Gulf Shores if you're not able to fish or just want to get outside for a little while it's fun and if you like eating crab well you can sit here and catch a five gallon bucket uh, but we mainly just want to catch a few for the video to show you how simple it is uh, so we're gonna probably stay for a few minutes but that's gonna be the end of this video guys thanks for watching if you hadn't already subscribed please subscribe it means a lot to me uh, and it really motivates me to get out and make more videos. So, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the water.